Hi everyone, we're going to continue talking about American imperialism and expansionism and we're going to start today with Japan. So Japan was an isolationist country for the most part. They didn't deal much with other countries. They mostly kept to themselves. They were isolated. So the United States sends this guy right here. His name's going to be Commodore Matthew Perry. And no, not the Matthew Perry from Friends who plays Chandler. If you didn't know that's his name, that's his name. And Matthew Perry is going to seek to practice imperialism for the United States and Japan. He wants to dominate Japan and force them to start trading with America. So America can sell new goods and have a new market to trade with, to sell those goods to. These are reasons why the U.S. uses imperialism and why we're going to use them, use it in Japan. So Matthew Perry, he's a commodore, he controls a naval fleet, is going to send his naval fleet to Japan. And upon seeing this naval fleet, some Japanese people would claim that they were black ships of evil men, as you see this drawing down here of a caricature of what the Japanese thought of these ships that were coming towards them. And Matthew Perry basically threatened to use force and attack Japan and force them to trade with us if they didn't sign a trade agreement with the United States. Since Japan doesn't have didn't have a strong navy at the time, they quickly just said, fine, we will trade with you. And upon seeing this, other European nations as well sent their fleets to go do the same thing. So Japan was quickly had all these trade deals with all these European countries. And it actually kind of worked out for them. Even though the United States and other European countries were bullying them, Japan quickly started trading with them and acquired all this new technology, new goods from all these different countries, and they became this large industrial power that we have seen prior to World War II and even today. Then they became a very advanced technological country as we see today. So uh, this is what Japan looks like today. They're the most technologically advanced country in Asia, I would say. You might be able to argue that. But definitely, they are very advanced. So, that's imperialism in Japan. Hope you learned something. Thanks.